What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we're going to go over the problem of gray code. I'm going to skip coin piles and palindrome reorder. I'll come back to that later. But uh, for now, let's just do uh, gray. So a gray code is a list of all 2 to the n bit strings of length n, where any two successful strings differs exactly one bit. Your task is to create a gray code for a given length n. So if you look at here, what they mean, right now I'm actually in California and I don't have my, I did not bring my microphone so i'm just gonna have to do whatever i can okay so we're given the length two and we want to write the gray code so in this case what they're doing is they're just listing all the different binary values of two so it would just be like zero 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 then zero one right and then if you plus one again you get one zero so each of these values could be each of these places could be either one or zero, right? So this zero, zero, let's make this into a one. And then here, let's make the second one into one. And let's make the last one into a one also. So those are, those are all the values you have. You have zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Okay. That's essentially what they're doing. And then let's say we have the value three, you're going to have your zero, 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 right? And then we have to flip each of them into one or zero. So let's flip this last place first. So then we have zero, zero, one. Okay, and then let's let's flip this one now. Let's flip the center one. So we have zero, one, zero. Um, let's flip this last one. Zero, one, one. Um, let's flip. What else do I have to flip? Let's flip this one, the third one here. We have one. Let's flip all these back to zero. So then we have zero, zero. Okay. Um, I hope you guys just understand what I'm doing here. And then we have this one. We'll flip this one. Let's flip the last one. One zero one, and let's flip this one 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 zero, and then we have one one. Okay, so essentially what we're doing is we're gonna go to each of the bits and flip them. Okay, um, so yeah, and we just print them out. So here we have a total of two to the three here. For this one, it's two to the three. So one two three four five six seven eight. So two to three, which is eight. And then for this one, it's two to the two because there's Two to two, and that'll give two to four. So yeah. Okay. So how do you do this in code? Um, one way you could do it is that um, you could go through every single bit. So since there are n bits here, right? There's n choices here. Um, we go through all two to the three bits, right? And then for each of them, we're just gonna shift it right. For each of the, these bits, we're gonna shift it right, and then f uh, flip that one bit at the end towards that. So what I mean is like, um, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, I think, so uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, let me just look at my code real quick to see. So you could shift it right and then you could XOR because XORing would flip the, the last values again. Let's just see what you see what I did. Yeah, yeah, so he's what I did. Okay, so, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each of these values, each of the so let's say I'm on the first bit. So the first bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop from one to two, right? And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to convert this one into like a binary number, right? So let's convert this one into a binary number. So let's say, uh, let's see, what is one's binary? Uh, zero, 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 one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to XOR this. So XOR is basically just like flipping all the other bits. I'm going to shift this binary value of 001 to the right. So when you shift everything to the right, essentially is that uh, you're just adding more zeros in the front. So this one becomes a zero. So then we have zero, zero, zero. And then if you XOR them, essentially is that you're going to get the, you're going to get, uh, you're going to flip those values back uh, flip the last bit, bit, all those last bits are going to get flipped and then you're going to have the next value to uh, print out. So here if we flip, if we shifted one to the right and we flipped it, um, one XOR zero is still going to be one, right? Because the, the bits of XOR is like that, um, zero, 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 zero. Okay. So then this would just print out one. Okay. Now, um, when we get to like, as we get higher and higher bits, um, so let's say it was at like two and then three and then four. So let's say it was like, 
Um, I don't know. So let's say we're at two. So I'm going to erase this actually. So we already did one. So since I'm looping from zero, two, two, three. So that would have play, uh, displayed zero, zero, one. Now let's say we're at, we were at two. So uh, what's two's binary? So two's binary is uh, zero, one, zero. So two is zero, two is one. Yeah, zero, one, zero. And then I'm going to shift this value uh, bits to the right. So if I shift it to the right, um, so shifting one bit to the right would be, this one would go to the right side and then all the rest would be zero. So this zero is gone, right? This zero is gone. And then it would be one, zero, zero. Okay. So I'll just write the next bit shift here. One, zero, zero. So then after I bit sh shift it to the right and then I XOR it, zero, one becomes one, one, zero becomes one, zero, zero becomes zero. And this would be the next bit of adding one to the to the right side of this. So essentially what we're doing is that we're gonna we're basically flipping the last bit into one. Okay. And then uh, for each of the values from two to the two to n, two to n. So because if we shift it right, shift the last bit to the right by one and XOR, um, all the values if it was one, all the values get added by one. Okay, in order to, to display it. So if you look at the pattern in here of three, you'll realize that like the pattern of these sides, basically what they're doing is they're just flipping the last bit into one. And then if it's one, it flips to zero and then it goes to the next one and it flips the last one and one is zero, so on and so forth. So essentially what we're doing is that if we shift it right by one, shift the number right by one, and then we XOR it, we're gonna, we're basically changing each of the bits, the last bit to turning it on or off. For each of the values, okay. So then, if we loop from one, uh, loop from zero to two to the n, zero to two to the n, and we do it for all these values, all the values from i from zero to two to the n, um, what we're doing is that we're basically sh uh, flipping each of the last bits over and over again, and then in the end, we're going to have all the actual bits there that are correct, okay. So yeah, if you essentially shifting it right by one. And XORing it, um, you're gonna get. Whoops. You're gonna get uh, each of the bits are gonna be uh, the last bit is gonna get flipped. So as you can see here, the value two, this last bit, the zero got flipped into one here. So yeah, once we do that for all the numbers from zero to two to the end, it'll display all the last bits that are flipped. So here's the code. Um, we loop from i equals zero and go up to two to the n and I do i plus plus. Then um, our value, what I do is I just take the current value of i and I XOR it by i shifting right by one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, you know, because I don't wanna like go through every bit and print out if it's on or off, right? The last bit is on or off. Um, I just put this, this, uh, this number, this value for, for the bits. Um, if you just set it equal to like a number of variable, what it does is it actually converts it back to base 10. So this is now an actual number. And then what I can do is I could put this number back into like a bit set. So I, then I could convert it back into binary. I know it's kind of crazy, but like what this is doing is that this gets you your bits, right? After you shift it right and then XOR, you get your new bits of 0, 1, 1, right? So now what I'm doing is I'm converting this back into like a number. So it would be like two to the zero, one times two to the zero plus one times two to the one plus, um, yeah, so it would be zero times zero, one, two, right? So it'd be zero times two to the two plus one times two to the one plus one times two to the zero, okay? plus one times two to the zero, right? So what I'm doing is when you set it equal to a variable, long, long val is equal to this, it converts it back to a number, right? So this would become like a, a number, it would be like equal to two plus one, which is three. This converts it back to number three. And then what I could do is I could put into this uh, bit set, whoops, my bad. I could put into a bit set and then, then what I could do is I could uh, call two strings, so then I could just print out all the bits. Okay, 
so that I don't have to like check if like each of the number of bits is like one or zero and then print it out, right? So this is like, like an easier way. Convert into a number, put it into a bit set, and then convert into a string, okay? Then here, um, I'm gonna loop from i is equal to uh, backwards. I'm looping backwards, essentially, because bit sets are weird in that the bits, like if you were to loop, um, in order to print it out in the proper way, um, you ha if you, like, it's weird in that this one and one is actually opposite. It's like kind of flipped, right? So what I did was I looped backwards from 32 to uh, 32 minus n, and i is less than 32 and i plus plus, right? And the reason why I did this is because, uh, yeah, it's because for some reason it's backwards. So yeah, I just printed it out. Um, print out the bits backwards. Okay, um, yeah, and then I just printed a new line here. Um, the reason why it's 32 is because there's 32 bits in an in integer, I believe. Yeah, so one integer is four bytes, and there's eight bits in one byte, so there's 32 bits. Okay, so yeah, that's essentially the gist of this problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.